So with Halo Infinite right around the corner, I've been seeing obviously a lot more ads for it from campaign overviews to tie-in deals and multiplayer XP bonuses from companies, but I remember back in the day when Halo had trailers that were way better than any video game really needed to be. And so today I figured we'd go back and take a look at some of those trailers and count down my top five Halo trailers. So let's get started. Starting off our list at number five is the Halo 2 announcement trailer. Now this announcement trailer was what a lot of people were waiting for. Halo CE had exploded with the launch of the Xbox and people were waiting for the sequel. They wanted to know what the next adventure for the Master Chief would be. And we see in this trailer new armor, new weapons, better lighting. It was done in engine, but obviously it was rendered. But we also see the ideas that are being put right in front of us in text for what was gonna happen in the game. And the scene that plays out in the trailer is also a scene that plays out in the campaign, albeit the campaign adds a spiky space pickle. To be totally honest, there was so little to this trailer and it was enough to get everybody who was waiting for the next chapter of Halo extremely excited. But it's only at number five because it is only the beginning of the masterful trailer craftsmanship that Bungie had honed for the years following. So let's move on to number four. Now moving on to number four is a trailer that is so powerful in terms of the story it tells and the precedent it sets for the following game. And that is the Halo Reach live action trailer. For those of you who haven't played Halo Reach, this is gonna be a bit of a spoiler, but the theme for Halo Reach is sacrifice for the benefit of something greater than yourself. And it really does show in this small trailer that that was the theme for the game. Before the game even came out, this was the general theme that Bungie was pushing. We get in this trailer what I would consider the second most realistic depiction of what it would be like to fight the Covenant. Just pure chaos, plasma, dirt, bullets everywhere with one giant ominous ship above the entire battlefield with banshees everywhere creating even more destruction and chaos and taking out Kat the main subject of this trailer at the beginning. And the trailer itself wraps up with this incredible shot of a ship exploding, but before that we see the sacrifice of the original Noble Six before you, the new character for Noble Six, takes over in the campaign. It's a nice little tie-in to the rest of the campaign because we see how Kat got injured, we see where their last Noble Six member went. So it all ties together to give you this sense of sacrifice for something greater. The original Noble Six sacrificed himself to take out a Covenant ship. It's awesome, and like I said, this is right where Bungie is at the kind of peak of their craft for trailers, but there are still some really great ones to go. So, number three it is. Number three is a trailer where I remember distinctly seeing it for the first time. I was at an FYE with my parents, and we were just looking around because FYE always has really cool stuff, and I see it up on the TVs, and I didn't know what it was for at first, but the music through the loudspeakers sort of got my attention, and then I saw the helmet, and I was fixated on it. This was the Halo 3 Starry Night trailer. This trailer really sticks with me for how quickly it goes from zero to 100, and how few things are done in this trailer to tell an epic story. From a calm summer night laying in the grass with a friend stargazing, to a war-torn hellscape with your helmet blown off and the ringing in your ears from an explosion, just all of a sudden. And you don't know what got Chief into that situation, but when you hear everybody on the radio screaming in chaos and Johnson asking any sign of the Chief with a Marine saying, I think we lost him, those simple words. Not yet. Just gets the blood pumping for what's about to happen and the Lack of action is honestly what really makes it because it gives you the idea that when this game comes out, you're going to be the one who is getting into that action. So this trailer is awesome and it's honestly one of the more artistic ones, which generally Halo 3's trailers are very artistic, but we'll get more into that as we move along here. Now at number two is what I would consider the best live action trailer for any video game of all time, and that is the Halo 3 ODST live action trailer. 
From the very beginning of this trailer, at a funeral of an ODST, with the Welsh lyrics and bagpipes playing, you know that this is going to be something special. And the focus on a young boy at this funeral of an ODST, presumably a family member who was lost, really sets the tone for the rest of the story of this trailer. Joining the ODSTs, pushing the idea that they are the UNSC's elite, the strongest that the UNSC has to offer just below the Spartans, and seeing what these guys go through is incredible. Honestly, this is a better ad for a branch of the military than the army's own trailers with the two moms and all that kind of stuff. It begins in California with a little girl raised by two moms. Not that I have anything wrong with the person in the trailer, but if you're trying to push what the military is going to do, this is how you do it. This is freaking awesome, and as I mentioned before, Halo Reach's trailer is the second most realistic depiction of what it's like to fight the Covenant, in my opinion. Halo 3 ODST's trailer is the most realistic. Pure chaos upon hitting the battlefield in your drop pod. And the fact that this trailer ends skipping from the original Greenhorn ODST having just survived a fight with a brute, to the same ODST, now an older, grizzled, scarred veteran, holding a funeral in this war-torn hellscape for another fallen ODST in the total opposite sort of setting from the original clean, pretty, mausoleum-esque setting, really just tells an incredible story with a ton of character development in the span of a trailer. Freaking great. In my opinion, again, at the peak of ads for Bungie, with the exception of one. But before we get to that, we're going to talk honorable mentions. So in the honorable mentions, one of the other trailers that I tend to come back to just to appreciate for historical value is the original Halo Macworld trailer, because it's so different from what Halo CE became, but the fact that it held itself up so well with just gameplay and ambiance with music. It's where it all started, and in my opinion, it's still great. Another one is the Halo 5 announcement trailer, the original trailer with Master Chief and a Snuggie. That one is good. I love the trailer, the aesthetic, the look. My only real reason for not putting it on the list is because it basically lied to us. <laughs> and if it hadn't lied to us, it probably would have been at number five. But Snuggie Chief has to be an honorable mention because, well, that never happened in Halo 5. Another trailer for the honorable mentions list is the Halo Wars 2 trailer. This trailer is way better than it has any right to be. And it's just so cool because you don't ever see this combat in the game so up close except for a handful of cutscenes. But getting to see it speeding back and forth in high speed to slow motion is so cool and really depicts the real time strategy with you as the captain or as the banished Atriox seeing everything happen in slower than real time for your strategies is really cool. It's, again, way better than it has any right to be. And then the last honorable mention is one that barely, barely didn't make the cut for the main list, and that is the Halo 3 original E3 trailer, because this trailer came out at a time where Halo 3 might be happening, who knows? We ended on a cliffhanger with Halo 2, but we don't know when Halo 3 is going to come out. Is it going to come out for the original Xbox? Will it be a 360 exclusive? All these questions. And then you hear this. That chord, as we saw with this trailer and with the Halo Infinite trailer when it was originally announced at E3, is all Halo fans need to recognize what's about to happen. And my god, this was awesome. And as the last Master Chief story from Bungie, this showed the way the world ends. We had no idea what that meant back in 2006 when this came out, but man, oh man, was it so exciting to know that we were going to see the way the world ends, see the way that Bungie's original vision of this entire trilogy was going to end. It's so cool. I love going back and watching this once in a while. Chief stepping out from the dust, seeing the, well, what we thought at the time was the arc activating and what it was actually supposed to be was a portal, but that's neither here nor there. Seeing all of that in-game or in-engine 
was so freaking awesome. And it was the return of the king, baby. Once more under the breach, right? Man, that was so cool. Now there's an honorable mention, but one of the ads from this campaign is my number one. So I'm just gonna say it all at once. The Halo 3 Believe campaign is deserving of an honorable mention, but the original Believe trailer holds its spot for me at number one. This is kind of weird. So in the honorable mentions category, I put the Believe campaign because we have all of this really interesting storytelling from veterans of the Covenant War in live action. Again, another live action trailer. It's a great campaign, not quite as good as what I thought of with the, uh, with the ODST trailer, but it's really interesting how good the actors were in the Believe campaign to sort of make you believe they were actually veterans of this horrific war between humanity and the Covenant. It's super cool, but the number one spot, easily for me, is given to the Believe trailer. This was the trailer that gave me chills when I first saw it on TV. The pure art of this trailer is awesome. It's all models, just models. That's all you see all around. It's Covenant, Marines, explosions, and it's got moving camera work, but the still imaging of the horrors of war just hit different. And the music playing in the background is just the icing on the cake. Followed by the cherry on top, which is Master Chief looking to camera. The only piece of modeling in the entire trailer to move is the hero, Master Chief. And that trailer still gives me chills watching it to this day, and again, is a trailer that is going to stick with me for the rest of my life. I think that this is when trailers for video games, specifically the way Bungie treated trailers for video games, was just an artwork. Artwork, art form, art form. That was the word I was looking for, art form. I'm stumbling over my words. I'm getting so worked up over it. This trailer is awesome. But either way, guys, that's been it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys think. Are there any favorite ad campaigns from Halo or any other video game series that you guys really remember fondly? I know with each of these, I remember distinctly how I felt watching them. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And apart from that, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment again. And apart from that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to be there and have a good one.